Hey, hey, hey there, it's your girl Barbie J with another one of her I'm just giving you my two cents videos and my two cents video is about Tyler Perry's The Oval and I have questions about season four, episodes 11 and 12, things that we've seen there and questions that I have and you probably have as well. And one of the first questions is, um, do y'all think that Barry is dead on Kareem's bed? Do you think he's dead or just got his, it, it looked like his neck is sliced. If, if y'all all saw it, that's what it looks like to me. But I do think he's dead. And I'm going to tell you why. Like I said, this is just my little opinion, two cents. I think he's dead because he's still on the, the, the episode of the game. You know, that TV show that he's on. And I heard that the game has a new season coming out. So I'm sitting there going, Barry is probably getting paid a whole lot more on that show than on Tyler Perry's. So TP needs to um, kill him off or something. You know, he's probably getting a whole lot more money. Wouldn't y'all leave? I'm just saying. And his character does a whole lot more. It's, it's, it's better than the character he plays on The Oval. <laughs> he just he just an idiot. <laughs> My mother used to call him nymph poops. He just an idiot. That's what he is on this episode. I can't I can't take it with him. And I don't know why Tyler didn't let him find his dead on child by now. It don't make no sense. And speaking of that, what do y'all think is gonna happen to Nancy? Will they allow her to see Callie? Is she gonna tell the truth and say that her granddaughter's here, that Callie's her granddaughter? Or they gonna let her uh stay there? Cause that that whole thing of making her go out there makes no total sense at all. She saw that her husband and Sharon almost got killed in a car accident because of that, and they saw what Barry they did to Barry and brought him there and left him on the dining room table covered in flowers. I mean, come on, what would possess Nancy to go out there? And I want y'all to put it down in the comment section because it makes no sense to me, and and I, I'm open to any kind of scenario or idea that y'all think could possibly work into this <laughs> it just made no sense and I don't know what TP was thinking about and I'm wondering about this um will they uh hurt Callie now because Nancy went out there or will she still try to play uh, my my asthma my asthma they said the highest could heal or so <laughs> that ain't gonna work is it y'all <laughs> and then here's another one of my questions who do you think put Barry there in Kareem's bed? Who could possibly do it? Who would want to do that and set him up? So the person I was thinking about was Hunter. Hunter was the one who showed up to the house. He knows Richard and it was Richard's house. So Richard has something to do with it. They know that Richard is, um, you know, Barry is his dad. And they know that he was against them. And he didn't probably like snot knows Kareem anyway. So I'm thinking Hunter did that some kind of way, got somebody to set him up. But it couldn't have been Kyle because Kyle was doing other things. So who could have Hunter gotten it if it was him to set him up? You know, I don't think it was Donald or Victoria because they didn't even know that Hunter showed up at Rich's house. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out who else it could be. I mean, what's his name? Grip is dead. And Grip is the one who helped him hang uh, Kareem over the high, whatever that building was. <laughs> no, Y'all put it down in the comment section that got Kareem all messed up in the head and stuff. So I don't know about it. Anyway, my, my last question is about Kareem. Do you think he touched the body or did he just leave the house and run out? Because in the scenes, um, the previews for next next episode you see that he's basically questioning dale it sounds like he gonna blame dale for somebody leaving a door unlocked or having somebody in his house and and i'm like what is going on matter of fact wait a minute the synopsis for episode 12 says kareem is in a bind and tries to blame it on dale see what i'm saying you see what i'm saying kareem is he that he won't take any ownership or anything but I don't know. These people could get into places and he should know that. Uh, some some other part of the synopsis is about the first lady becomes skeptical of Donald after she find out that Jason is still alive. And then Sam and David are about to be discovered. But I'm sitting there going, is David going to be discovered? Is David supposed to be dead from that little stabbing that Jason did? 
And how is he out cold from that one little capsule or whatever? Was it one or two capsules of sleeping, whatever that they he put in there? I, I just thought as a military man, he'd be strong and be able to deal with those pills right off the bat. But is David, I thought he was supposed to be dead when he stabbed him, but I guess not. And how are they going to be found out? They are found out. Like, what are they going to do to them? So they switch bodies. What does that mean? I mean, you tried to kill somebody. You tried to kill your own child. And you're going to find find fault in, in Sam and David for switching bodies because they couldn't kill a child? It makes no sense. And if anything would make sense is that Hunter would be happy that his son is not dead because he's the one that was disgusted with the two of them for doing that. So y'all let me know down in the comment section what you are thinking about these two episodes, what we saw in episode 11 and what happened, what's supposed to happen next week in episode 12. What is that? January 3rd? No, January, yeah, January 30 comes back. I want to hear what everybody is feeling and thinking about this. And, and it's, it's just really funny that Victoria is becoming skeptical of Donald for what they, they both are two peas in a pod. If you ask me, they both are like nasty, evil, ain't worth two cents. Oh, there you go. They go my two cents again. <laughs> anyway, y'all put it down in the comment section and have a great holiday season. It's your girl, Barbie J saying, see you in the next video. Peace.